past, Mississippi lost thousands of dollars because of the number of unaccounted people in the state. WJTV 12's Marcus James explains how one program plans to include everyone in the census. Since 2017, Southern Echo has been preparing for this very moment. The launch of a digital system to file census information in the state could be a problem, but this organization is depending on local leaders. We're hoping that mayors and uh, clergy will set up census sites within their communities. A census is a way to record information about the population, and it's an official count or survey of how many people live in a given area. The census impacts the federal dollars that Mississippi receives. Uh, Mississippi is one of the hardest to count states, and so we have to start early talking about the importance of the census, how this census will be different from 2010, and how we need to start uh, with complete count committees now. The census count is done every 10 years, and the data collected can shape voting districts and even determine funding for public schools. Early after the 2020 census, that's when we uh, began redistricting, and it's so important that everyone is counted so that we will have a fair and equitable redistricting effort in our state. As the country gets more populated, experts say it's critical to have the information documented right. We need everyone to come out and participate and learn how you can be an instrument to help get the word out about the 2020 census and so that we can encourage everyone to be counted. The move to take a digital approach is an effort to make things easier. Marcus James, WJTV 12.